We're ready. Action. The reason I'm here, the reason the coaching staff's been put together, the reason the players are, are getting together in camp right now is to win. Really, the, the strong-minded survive in this game. Webby is the ultimate competitor to begin with. He's the backbone of our whole staff. He's our best player. He's our most important player. If you have guys like, you know, Harrison and Keaton Wynn and Hicks, plus the young guys that are coming through the system, there has to be an expectation of more. Kyle, I think, wants to be that next guy. Got him. I truly feel like I, I've been getting better every year. He understands pitching now more than when he was at the St. Louis Cardinals. So our goal is to have one of those dog piles, one of those celebrations at the end of the season. I don't think you can be a San Francisco Giant and not expect to go to the postseason. We're here to win. You know, spring training is always a time of new beginnings, and we have a lot of new beginnings. You've got Bob Melvin and the new coaching staff coming in. You've got a few new players. And it's kind of injected this jolt of excitement into camp that maybe we haven't had in the last couple of years. You know, I think we're a good group of, of young players and also a good group of older guys that are going to keep some of the young guys in check and bring a little bit of the old school plus some new school. Like, I think it's a... It's going to go perfectly together. I know this story's made the rounds of how he's told the young players to come in and say hello to everybody, and that doesn't seem like something that you would have to spell out. But even something that small can be a bridge between the veteran players and the younger players can help break the ice. They get to know that it's, you know, it's fun here. You, you, you can talk to people. You don't have to be scared to approach people. And uh, I think when, when guys do that, they're at their best. What's up, fellas? Hey, Beck. Want to toss the ball a little bit? Webby telling us to say good morning to the pitchers. Like, it's just those silly things that make you want to be a part of the team and kind of like start building those bonds that hopefully you can go through with and compete with in the future to win a championship. I gotta feel that thumb like. I always like to get to the point where if I'm catching, they don't really have to. They don't really have to think like they can have their trust in what I'm doing, what I'm seeing. Patty Barrels, special talent behind the dish. He's one of those guys that, when you're that good at, at what he does, uh, it's always fun as a pitcher to have that. <laughs> More talent than anybody I've ever seen behind the plate. Here's the pitch. Duran runs. The pitch taken. Here's the throw and the tag. He is out at second. Bailey's got it. And he throws out to Speedy Kim. Runner goes. And from his knees, they got him. Unbelievable. His pitch framing, his game calling, his demeanor, his encouragement. He gives honest feedback. Sometimes too honest. Yeah. That was a lot different. To come into camp as the guy, have that role, it obviously gives him the ability to learn, build relationships with our pitchers. As a pitcher on the mound, having a weapon back there that, that will shut down the running game allows me to put more focus on competing with, with the batter. Got him, and that's the ball game. You're always looking for a catcher who makes your pitching staff better, and he really does that. You know, just gives the pitchers confidence to execute pitches in any count, any situation. He's always on the iPad looking at hitters in between innings, and to me, I don't even have to worry about it. You know, it's like this guy's so dialed in and knows his routine and really wants it for us. Yo, Cal Harrison, the youngster, so talented, Bay Area guy. Everything about him, he's uh, he's a wonderful young man. When it comes to his potential, 
he can go as high as he, he wants to go. Consistency, that's all it is. Yeah, I was like, I want to get that. Yeah. And you don't have to. He's just such a special pitcher. He's got such a special fastball. Every time I watch him pitch, I'm like, dude, I wish I threw a fastball like that. <laughs> I think this is true of both Logan and him. They have a lot of composure and maturity for their age, but I like that they show the fire when they're on the mound, you know? I mean, there were a couple of moments when Kyle struck someone out to end an inning, and, and he was fired up and got the crowd fired up. Kyle Harrison grew up coming to this ballpark as a kid watching his Giants play, and Kyle will do it here tonight for the first time. I got some good advice from my teammate Logan, and he was like, you know, I know everyone says don't, don't soak it in and don't look up, but he's like, if you ever have a chance, look up. And that, that's what I did. You know, I was in that sixth inning, you know, I was really digging deep and I just, I looked up and I was like, I'm here, you know, why not, why not do it right now? You know, and got the punch out and uh, it was really, really cool moment for me to kind of soak it all in. I've dreamed of it since I was a little kid, you know. He's very mature for how young he is. That's what makes him such an elite pitcher too, is not only does he have elite stuff, but his mind is, is elite. For me now, it's just him building up confidence, him knowing that he's that good and he can throw any pitch he wants to in any count, and it's probably going to be a, a good result. Here's his 0-2 pitch. It is swung on and missed strike three. Beautiful slider. Kyle, I think, wants to be that next guy. I think he'd love to be riding shotgun with, with Logan as far as heading this staff. You know, I'm like really, really excited for him to get the opportunity to just have a full year in the big leagues and kind of show what he can do. For Keaton and, and for Kyle, I think we want to be mindful of where they are physically and making sure they continue to feel strong. But we expect them to be in our rotation all year, and they're going to pitch as much as they can physically handle. He has never been in a major league ballpark until tonight. So his first night getting called up to the big leagues as a player is his first night ever in a big league stadium. Wow. Got him with the splitter. I mean, the first thing I noticed about being on an MLB field in a game is like I'm a guy who like resets himself by looking up and I was like okay I kept looking up and I was like oh there's more stands more stands so like I had to finally just start looking down behind the mound it happens to be one of the closest ballparks to my family I mean as soon as I called them they were like freaking out it was a very emotional day for me and my my family foul tip into the mid strike three and that's the way the ball game ends Keaton, he's a big dude. I mean, he's gotten so much bigger, he's gotten so much stronger and faster. Works hard, works real hard, and he's a strong dude. I'm trying to get as strong as him. <laughs> Keaton right now, with his specialty pitch, which is his split finger, is probably one of the best in baseball. Strike three called, the splitter on the inside corner. I put it there with any other pitch in the big leagues. Got him. Good split. Everyone talks about a splitter. Uh, it's always fun to watch. I always tell them it's better than Cobb's, of course. But It's one of the best pitches in baseball, and you pair that with his upper 90s fastball at the top of the zone, then it's going to be devastating. Struck him out. The splitter. It's hard to get to a place where you become Logan Webb. However, we are bumping that bar higher and higher. So a guy like Kyle or, or Keaton or the younger guys that are coming in and now uh, Jordan Hicks, those are big things. And the other part of that is we want you to come in there and eat up some innings and, and be ready to do so. Swing and a miss, 103. Jordan has always been an impressive pitcher. That was nasty at a 101. He was a starter in the minor leagues and went to the Arizona Fall League one winter. And at that point, he touched 103 miles an hour. So the Cardinals, you know, rotation was filled out, so they had him pitch out of the bullpen. 103. We sort of had it in the back of our mind. This guy was such a promising starting pitcher coming up through the Cardinals minor league system. Wonder if there would be a chance to go back to that. I found that his agent brought up. He said, hey, if you guys would consider him as a starter, that would really give you a leg up. It's kind of a natural fit there in terms of both sides seeing that potential. Going from guys on our team like Austin Slater, all the way up to ownership with Buster Posey, everybody I asked about Jordan said, I hate facing that guy. Now here's a high slider, swung on and missed, he struck him out. 
And those are the kind of pitchers you want. You want pitchers who make hitters uncomfortable. I think Jordan will bring a lot of that, will bring a lot of discomfort to opposing hitters. And again, I hope we see him out there on the mound as much as he can physically handle. What's exciting about Jordan Hicks is something very simple. If you go back and take a look at his innings and he goes two innings, his velocity holds. So because of that, and he throws a power sinker, there's an opportunity for Jordan to be able to go out there and throw strikes early, get a lot of ground balls, and to last the five, six, seven innings when he's getting built up. So I think that's the part that's most exciting. Got him. He's the type of pitcher that you could go to the ballpark to watch simply to see him throw that 100 mile an hour power sinker. Since I was a, a kid before I even got drafted, like it's been my dream to be a starter. I'm, I'm excited for this opportunity now and, and being in a Giants uniform, starting this new chapter. Just ready to get out there and show what I can do. What I love to do is pitch and compete and the fact that I get to go out there for longer, that's what I'm the most excited for. Hey. Hey man, so we're like a couple days into your uh, first big league camp. How you feeling? Feel good. It's definitely different. Yeah. It's a lot better over here. It's, a lot it's pretty good setup, huh? It's good setup. Oh yeah. As often happens for guys who come up as starting pitchers, their first you know opportunity in the big leagues might come in the bullpen, might come as a swing man or a long man, and that's really what happened with Tristan. Hi. He'd throw three innings and twenty five pitches and say, "I'm ready to go tomorrow." And you know, we're using him as kind of a model for these other guys to aspire to because Tristan came up and he was so effective and he was so efficient pitching. All of our young guys coming up just have the best demeanor and really don't ever let moments get too big. I think that, that there's so much excitement about this group of young pitchers being in that next wave of support that we're gonna need. And the two strike pitch is that Wisenhunt changeup. Carson Wisenhunt, I think his changeup is one of the best pitches of, of any prospect in the game right now. It's having consecutively good outings, putting up strikeout numbers, like in zone rates, things that like all of our organization stuff talks about, but taking it to even a higher level. Five to six goals for a full season and then try to check them off as quickly as I can. Obviously, one this year is going to be in the big league. Whenever you get out there, you want to embrace the moment. For me, once I get my chance to throw, I'm ready to go. Mason Black has logged the eighth most innings in minor league baseball since he debuted. Really been durable his entire career with the Giants. His mix has changed a little bit, but you know relies on a four-seam fastball that gets a good angle up in the zone. He had a shorter slider last year that he commands well, and really just rounded out the mix last year. And um, you know he's somebody who's who's right there on the cusp. He's got a lot of similarities to Logan Webb in the way he pitches. He's really he's a right-handed starter who's got east-west stuff. And he had a lot of success in the PCL last year, which was a really tough place to pitch. And one of the things he did well is he just kind of kept the ball down. You know, I think Logan's taking him under his wing. He knows that's a good model for him, but he's that kind of pitcher. So I think he's got a really bright future as well. We've got a very young staff, very young clubhouse, but it's refreshing to see and it's fun and it motivates you and it's energizing. Play! What a miss, he got him. A guy of that caliber who's proved himself for years and years, it's just, um, again, there's no arrogance there, there's nothing. It's like he's there to help you and like be another leader uh, and a good example. Got him, and that's the ball game. He's one of the smartest baseball guys I've been around, just in terms of, of pitching and feel. And, you know, he's a guy that, like, <laughs> he'll feel a baseball a certain way and, like, know it's going to move more or less, and each year, like, he's gotten older and older, he's gotten better and better. Swing and a miss and a strikeout for Cobb. Everything I do, I, I look up to him for. I, I always, I'm always trying to pick his brain, and that's a guy you want to be like. Uh, it's a guy you want to take after. Got him! And that's the ball game. Strikeouts 
And a complete game shutout for Logan Webb. Webb, he's had a, obviously a heck of a run so far. Just the, the command of the fastball and the ground balls that he gets, um, logging the most innings in Major League Baseball right there in the end as a Cy Young finalist. So it was an incredible season. Um, so we're hoping he can take another step and get the Cy Young award this year. Got it. Wow. C.J. Crone throws the bat away in disgust. He's always desired to be in this role that he is coming into. Sometimes it's difficult for a pitcher to be a leader. He's out there once every five days. What he does is he'll do it in the clubhouse when everybody's there. And whether it's pitchers, position players, they all respect him. They all listen to him. A lot of the messages that you're hearing from me and Brian, you know, we kind of push through him as well, too. So for kind of still at a young age to be able to command that kind of respect is impressive. He's the backbone of our of our whole staff. He's our best player. He's our most important player. He recognizes it, but I don't think he expects to be treated differently. It's more setting expectations of other guys. Logan's been a great leader, honestly, for a lot of guys. It's been great to have him almost put his arms around us and encourage us to just be a part of the team. He always comes up to all of us, other pitchers, and he's like, you know, you guys are nasty, you know, and he's like, nasty, you're nasty. And he's like, you guys don't have to try to be nasty, you know? He's like, don't need to be any better than you already are. He's struck him out. Whoever he's talking to gets his full attention and tremendous respect. And, I, and for a young player that's achieved so much so early, that is kind of the face of the pitching staff, if not the organization, he's handled it extremely well. As much as everyone's talking about, like, oh, he's taking on this leadership role, he's doing this, like, nothing's changed. He's Logan Webb. He's, he's goofy when he can be, and then he, is, he flips the switch, and he's a competitor. And he's one of the most competitive people I've ever met. Strike three called at the knees on the corner. I think he should have been holding that Cy Young trophy at the end of the year. I know he will at some point in his career, along with hopefully a World Series trophy, because I've told him I'm, I'm counting on him to get me one of those before I retire. I do have some personal goals. More team goals. I want to win. You know, I want to be able to hold up that trophy at the end of the year and celebrate with my, with my friends and my teammates, you know, coaching staff, my family. That's the ultimate goal. We're here to win. The reason I'm here, the reason the coaching staff's been put together, the reason the players are getting together in camp right now is to win. So our goal is to have one of those dog piles, one of those celebrations at the end of the season. That's kind of our first long-term goal, is to get to the postseason, and we, we have the ability to do that. Victory really got my name on it. Blood, sweat, and tears, I left a stain on it. I'ma pass a touch before a blame on me Because victory really got my name on it Ah, oh, victory really got my name on it Blood, sweat, and tears, I left a stain on it I'ma pass a touch before a blame on me Because victory really got my name on it oh, victory really got my name on it Blood, sweat, and tears, I left a stain on it